How's it going, everybody? My cover extra T here, and I'm finally back to start watching some more Bakugan videos. Yay, yay. Now, I know the last video we watched was a couple months ago, Bakugan related, but don't worry about that. We're here now, and I decided since I was confused, and I looked at the comments, y'all guys were confused too about what was happening. <laughs> Why not look up the rules for Bakugan? Now, looks like it has evolved over the years. I didn't even know Bakugan was still going, but I feel like since we're rewatching the Bakugan A and B after this, let's watch this video, which looks like to be the base, basic game tutorial. Maybe it's like simple rules. Let's start with that because this other stuff, I don't know what's going on here. I have no idea what's happening here. So let's just watch the basic game rules. Also, you might hear some noise in the background. Don't worry about that. I'm making food. Ignore the popping noise. <laughs> what is going on, right, guys? Here we go. My Hello. name is Fusion, and today I'm going to show you the Fusion. how to play the game of Bakugan. But this is going to be only the basic game. Thank you. So there's not going to be any uh, action cards involved. So yeah. I know what action card was. To set up the Sorry. game, the first thing that you need to know is that you're going to need to have three Bakugans, obviously. Okay. And uh, right. you can have uh, three core Bakugan, or you can have three Ultras. It doesn't matter. But okay. you're going to need to have three. Now, also, you're going to need to have their corresponding uh, Baku cores. So this... A Is Dragon Root would need a Fire Fist and a Green Fist. Oh. So you would need uh, one of these Green Fists. You can choose. If you have multiple ones, then, yeah, you have a better chance. Of, okay. Um, maybe better traps or better better cores overall, you know. How do you place these cores now? But yeah, so since I have, let's look at these. So I would need one. So then I can choose from... Plus three, plus two, or plus one. So let's okay. just say I choose plus three. So that would be one. And then I also need a fire fist. And I can choose from any of these. So I will just choose. It looks the same. Oh, they're actually, they're all the same. Okay, so I have to make sure. Really matter. So okay. then those cores will go for a dragonoid. All right. And you will also need to do that for the other two, which would be for a Halcor, the one that I'm using. I will need two okay. helix. So All then right, I okay. would choose two helix. Boom, easy. Doesn't really matter which ones. And for this one, I would need two green fists. So green then fist. I would right. choose the other two. Okay, good, and good. Then, so. so that's the first thing that you need to know is okay. that you're going to need the three Bakugans with their character cards and their corresponding Baku cores. Okay. So yeah, that's the first step. And what about the part where you got to throw the Bakugan? Like? So the next step will be setting up the hide matrix. So What is, what is that? What that means is that you have to place your Baku cores. And how okay, you yeah, do I that did, yes. is usually the rule is youngest places their Baku core first. Youngest? So you will put Man, nah, oldest first. <laughs> your uh, Baku gun all the way back. And then let's say these Baku cores are from another player, right? So then, and if they're younger, they get to place their Baku core first. Okay. And then you will go next. And then they will place another one. Be a Jason? Like that, until Just you like guys a place Jason. all your Baku cores in total. So ah, there will be okay. 12. Okay. And that's con that's the hide matrix. Mm. And then after that, each player has to choose a Bakugan that they want to roll. So okay. it could be any of them. You oh, can so you choose roll. From, you, don't, you don't throw it. <laughs> you can choose Dragonoid or you could choose uh, Howcore. You know, any of the three that you have. Okay. Now, now is the time for you guys to roll. Yes, the best then part. Just put the hide matrix. All right. So then let's say you pick Pegatrix, right? Now, Pegatrix. you both have to roll from two card spaces away. So you will put two cards and then that's about the distance that you have to roll. Mm -hmm. And now, now you both roll at the same time. So you can say like one, two, three, go, and then roll on, on go. Okay. So then let's say it's like that. So you both roll so it's one two three roll all right so oh, now you both cool. land on a baku core this is one of the scenarios that happen so the moment i guess where the toys were the moment you like roll it the moment it hits one of the uh the cores it just activates just like that interesting it's when you roll there we go all right Sorry, I was so not if, listening. you both land on a baku core this is one of the scenarios that happens when you roll. Okay. There we go. All right. So if this happens, you both look at your character cards. 
Okay. Check how, mu how much B power you have. So what in is this B power? Case, is that like attack? A Pegatrix would have 600. Mm. And Dragonord will have 200. 200, okay. And the Buckle Cord doesn't help. So then Pegatrix would win that battle. Wait, why would the Buckle Cord help? Buck 600. And Dragonord will have 200. This doesn't, does not translate to this right here or up here. I'm confused. And the buckle cord doesn't help. So then Pegatrix would win that battle. Okay. Because it has 600 and Dragonoid only has 200. Yes. That's one of the scenarios. So then Pegatrix okay. wins. Another scenario would be you both roll, but only one person actually lands on a buckle cord. Yeah, can you overall? That means that it's an automatic win. The uh... person that opens up wins and then the other person just loses because they couldn't land right, and then enough. the third scenario would be you both roll and you miss none of none of you landed on the course meaning that you, all, all you have to do is just re-roll okay and then again and again just do that gotcha so now cool. that you know the three outcomes okay that's of, pretty simple uh, pretty simple roll, understand now i will tell you how to win yes how so, do i win let's say Pegatrix won, right? So then he would stay open, and then your opponent will have to close their Bakugan because okay. they lost. So they will close um, Dragonoid up, and once Dragonoid is closed, he, close. he has it to, wants be to be put back to its character. <laughs> he wants to be freed. Well. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now you have won one of the battles. And how, how you win the whole game is if you win once with each of your Bakugan. Ah, so you okay. cannot use Pegatrix again. You would have to use the other two now. Gotcha. And once you open up all three, you win. Okay. And Easy remember, concept. if the B power is the same, you go by attack power. So what is, what is the attack there's power? never a tie. You always decide. There's always a winner when you roll and you battle. So yeah, that's about it. It's really simple. Wait, what, what's the attack power? Is it this? Because Wait, it hold doesn't on. have Wait a any minute. cards involved. It's just literally you just roll, compare B power like we did. Compare B power, 600, 200, plus anything that the Bakugors may are, may okay. add. And uh, so, yeah. Oh, I see. So if it would have rolled on, if this, if this part right here, this font right here was over here, for a Dragonoid, because Dragonoid rolled on a green fist core, I guess, it would have got plus 300 B, which is still the loss. Okay, I think that's what that means. I think. Yeah, that's it. And then Pegatrix would win, it will stay open, and then Dragonoid would stay closed. This looks simple, but and they made a whole anime off of this. And still use Dragonoid until he stays open. And when I was seeing this anime once, with some crazy stuff, all three so. Buckle guns are open, then you win the battle. I thought there was some more stuff so yeah, in that's here. That's it. No, it has to be so, more. Yeah, guys. So if you liked the video, we well, didn't sure you like, like, like this is like simple and simple. if i did something wrong with this basic game i'm pretty sure i didn't because it's pretty basic <laughs> but if i did mess up something make sure to you uh comment down below so people will know but i think this is it and i will be doing uh, another video on the advanced game that one's probably really difficult this is so, an advanced game well I'll shoot like, maybe yeah, i got to go the advanced game and that one will probably be a little bit longer because it's it combines with cards and then there's a lot more things well well thank you there well hold on, let me look at the advanced stuff now wait a minute this is important no even that advanced yeah, yeah, yeah we're going straight into this that was loud how much your father what there is absolutely nothing going on with me Romeo. of course not you're not playing bakugan so i don't care about you lady no who cares about her bakugan time all right fusion we back at it again let's see got an intro this time What's up guys, my uh, name is Fusions, and today I'm going to show you how to play Bakugan TCG. So, wait, is started. this, is this, oh. Okay, so first of all, I've already made a how to play Bakugan basic game tutorial, so yes. if you have not checked that out, make sure you go back, you watched that, that out just first, now. then come back to this one, because this is the Bakugan TCG, and it's a little bit more complicated since you're dealing with trading cards. Is all this what they use in the show? The first thing, wait, what year was this? You know what, hold on now, we'll, we'll save this, we will save this, maybe... maybe to play the Bakugan TCG, you're going to need three Bakugan. I mean, we're already here. Might as well keep watching. And then you're going to need their character cards. 
these. These always come with their Bakugan when you buy them. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know about those. this. And then you're also going to need my food in a their Baku cores. Each Bakugan okay. on the top right corner has the Baku cores that this Bakugan needs. Exactly. We already so know instance, that. Yep, yep. This Hydras needs a green Elix fist and a green fist. Mm -hmm. This Trox needs a. We know about that. We know about fist. that. You can use hey, what's a that? shield. And this Dragonoid needs a flaming fist and a shield. Oh, that, that so changed. So let's get those buckle cores out. Also, you can use any green fist and any helix for Hydras. You do not have to use the buckle cores that Hydras came with. So you can just switch them up, make them uh, uh -huh. better, get better ones, or, you know, pick whatever you want. Gotcha. Okay, so now that we have the Bakugan, the character cards, and their buckle cores, now you need a 40 card deck. 40 card deck. I'm show oh. you now. So this deck is there decks in the anime? I don't remember. Forty cards. Very here. And there, there's many different types of cards. There is five different types, not including the character cards. So here we have the first type, which is an action card. Okay. This is very simple. One energy. You pay one energy, and it will give you plus three hundred B power. This is a Baku Gear card. Heck is this? See. You will pay three energy. How do you use and energy? It will give you plus four hundred B. This one will stay for the rest of the game unless oh. it is destroyed somehow. And this will go under a character card like this. Interesting. Like that. That way you're able to see the, the stats of the character card plus whatever the buckle gear uh. gives you. There's also cards like this one, which are heroes. This, you will only have to pay three energy to play this card. And then this will stay on the field for the rest of the game. Okay. And you can activate it depending on the requirements of the card. So every time you open a Bakugan, you may draw a card from this. And it Ooh, will nice. stay for the okay. rest of the game unless it's destroyed. Just like the Baku gear. And you can have as many heroes as you want on the field. And then we have flip cards. These will only be used when you're taking damage. So you mm. cannot play these from your hand. I will explain a little bit more later on the video. Yeah, what do you mean taking damage? And then we also have evos. You can evo. tell it's an evo. And then this is who it evos from. So this is Dragonoid Ultra. Oh, and shoot. I do happen to play Dragonoid Ultra. So you will pay to evo Dragonoid Ultra. You would pay six energy. Six energy. If you pay the six energy, this card will go on top of oh, the character card. Okay. And now it has new stats. You will not look at the old stats anymore. Now this is the new Dragonoid Ultra. Yeah, Sixteen hundred so B power. That's evo. crazy. Okay, so now that you know all the different types of cards that you can put on your deck, you can only have. Yeah, pauses real quick. I gotta get my food route. Interesting. I, I think this might be useful when we watch this A and V. I could be wrong. I'm back. My food is out the oven. I think he's about to play the cards out so we can see what they actually do in combat or uh, the actual same game. Same faction cards as the same faction Bakugan that you have. What did you just say okay, to me? Okay, so now that you know all the different types of cards what you just that you say can to put me? on your deck, you can only have uh, the same faction cards as the same faction Bakugan that you have. So, in this case, I'm playing Aquos, Chaos, and Pyrus, so I can only put Aquos, Chaos, and Pyrus oh, cards in my deck. Gotcha. As you can see, that's what I have. Aquos, Chaos, and Pyrus. I cannot put any Darkest cards, any Ventus cards, no other factions except gotcha. for the Bakugan factions that you're playing. Okay. So if I was okay. playing that's, three that's interesting. That's new. Bakugan, then I can only play Aquos cards. Never heard of a that's card game like that. And your deck will always be 40 cards. Okay, always so 40? Can't be under or over? All right. The Bakugan TCG. All right. Yes, it may seem like a lot, but you can always get one of these starter sets. These always include everything you need to play the Bakugan TCG. You have the three Bakugan, the Baku cores, the character cards, mm -hmm. and the 40 card deck. Oh, nice. So these are a good way to start playing. Oh, you need to Bakugan play the Bakugan Pro card I suggest game. you buy one of these if you are barely starting to get into Bakugan. Later on, you can upgrade it by buying booster packs, other Bakugan, getting more cards, more Bakugan. So this is a good way to start. Okay, now let's begin. I just want to roll it. I just want to roll it. So off, you're going to put your character cards to the side. Yep. Like somewhere around here, you're going to put the Bakugans on top of their own character cards. Mm -hmm. You're going to shuffle your deck, of course, shuffle it very good, put it to the side. And now you're going to grab your Baku cores. Yeah, set up the cores. Your opponent is going to do the same. 
And now you're going to choose who's going to go first. Because right now, you're going to be putting the height matrix, which which is where all the Baku cores are going to be. So let's say I go first. I will put a Baku core first, which will go right in the middle between both of you. Mm -hmm. Then your opponent will put one as well. Then you go again. And then you keep doing this right, until, until you run out of Baku cores to put right, down. Yes. So now that the height matrix is set up, you get to draw five cards. Three, four... Five, okay. Five. Can you mulligan or like can you redraw if you and got now, a bad hand? The first turn will begin once both of you, you, you and the opponent draw one card. The turns are taken at the same time. Ooh. So once you both draw, both have six the first turn will begin. And this is called the draw slash energy phase. So okay. now you look at your cards, and the first thing you're gonna do in the energy phase is energize a card. So what that means is that you're gonna put one of the one of your cards face down like okay. this and that will become an energy and you can no longer use this card as an action card or as oh. anything else except an energy for the rest of the game you want to make sure if it's, if it's a bad card you can turn it into energy okay okay i see it i see the vision so when you're putting energies down it's recommended that you put flip cards as energies since you will not be able to use them from your hand anyway so Got you. you can put this and now you have one energy. You can also play cards before oh, the that energy. Was, that wasn't me. Audio was weird right there. Ends, but that's you can also play cards before the energy phase ends. Mm -hmm. But that's only if you really want to. Maybe you can play some hero cards because this will be very good if you play it before you roll, since the ability will activate once you open a box. Gotcha. So hero cards are pretty good to play in the energy phase. But most of the time, you don't really want to play any cards. All right, so now that both of you have put an energy down, now it's time to roll your Bakugan. Roll that you will Bakugan. You be picking one of your Bakugan. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say I pick Dragonoid, and then my opponent will pick their Bakugan. Let's just put Trox as their Bakugan. Okay, so now you're going to have to roll. So first, you got to measure the distance from where you, you're supposed to roll. Mm -hmm. So from the closest Baku court from... From the height matrix to you, you will have to measure two card spaces away. So this will be like this. Okay. That's two card spaces away. And then you have to roll from right here, from this this far. Now that you're both ready to roll, you will count three, two, one, brawl. Then hey. you will both be rolling your box gun onto the height matrix. And it, there's three different scenarios that can happen once you mm -hmm. roll. Oh, Signature seasoning before that, and buttery we want flavor some in every twist. Pretzels. Dots, sensationally seasoned pretzels. I, I don't. So you're saying you could travel back. I don't know how this movie is happening right now, but hey, you know, just hey, what do I know? <laughs> I'm not a director at Hollywood. Okay, so the first scenario okay, is if you both roll and you both miss the high yeah. matrix or you do not open your Bakugan, and you both just have to re-roll. The so second scenario is, let's say one of you opened up and the other one missed, then that... Person wins. The person that opened up their Bakugan automatically wins the battle. And you skip the battle phase, which I'm going to show you now. So yes, the battle phase, show me. Yes, yes. You both open up, just like these two opened up right here. So now you're going to have to go onto the battle phase. This is where you compare B power. So you will be. As soon as like the, the healing thing is on top like of the Bakugan, Dragonoid. that's crazy. He has that's cool. 900 B power. And then you will be adding up any bonuses from the core that the Bakugan, in this case Dragonoid, picked up. He picked up a plus 500B. So he is in a total of 1,400B power. Yeah. And then we have Trox, which is your opponent. He is at 800 from a character card, plus 250B power. So he is at 1,050B power. Mm -hmm. So at this moment, Dragonoid is winning because he has a higher B power. Okay. Now, this is a good chance for your opponent to be playing cards to modify his b power to ah, you. okay okay Once i see what the card is coming to stop play playing cards to modify b power then the battle phase will end the winner will be the highest b power in this case will be dragonoid he will be the winner he will stay open and then the loser will be putting the baku core back onto the height matrix wherever they want and they will be closing their bakugan and putting it back onto the character card 
But would you want to like use your strongest Bakugan first, like for the first roll? Because that way the opponent won't be able to play any cards because it's like the first turn. But wouldn't it be better to just use your strongest Bakugan first just to get that win? Like that secure, like, hey, I won this battle. So you only got you two more Bakugans left to like roll and win with? Maybe? Maybe that's a strategy? I don't know. Keep it going. So now that the battle phase has ended, now you're going onto the victor phase slash damage phase. Hmm? Which, this is where you look at the victor, which is the Bakugan the one. You look at the character card and you see how much damage you're going to do. Oh, In what? this case, you're going to be doing two damage. Now you get to play cards to modify the damage. Now you can see if you have any oh. other cards that can okay. do more damage. So we have this fireball, right? So we will be playing. We will be paying one energy. Flip the energy to the side. That means you can no longer use this energy for the turn. Mm -hmm. And it will add three attack power onto dragon oh i didn't know you attack the player so now basically. he will be doing five damage in total how much damage do you have total and your like... opponent can play other cards to lower your damage as well so now we're going to be doing five damage let's just say that this deck is your opponent's mm -hmm. so you will be doing one oh flip card so once you see a flip card that means you stop you look at the flip card you see, uh, in this case, we got confused. You get to stop stop a Bakugan. This means that you're going to stop the attack holding a Flame Fist or a Magic Shield. So our Dragonoid has a Magic Shield, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Meaning that your opponent can pay one energy to stop the attack. We've only done one damage, so he can pay one energy and the attack will stop. This okay. is why flip cards are very important to having your deck to be able to stop attacks, especially when there's team attacks, which I will explain. Team attacks? This. When there's team attacks, there's usually a lot of damage that's going to go against you. So if you have flip cards to stop the attacks, they're very good. So yeah, keep that in mind. So is the damage okay, dealt? So now taking your cards you down for the third time, meaning okay. that this is going to be your third Bakugan opened because the other two already stayed open since they won. That means you're going to be doing a, a team attack. So when you're okay. going to deal damage, you're going to have to add up all the damage from all of your three Bakugan. Oh. So in this case, we have two damage for Trox plus two from the core. That will be four. Now we have Hydrus. He has a four. Plus, oh, but he carried a Helix. So meaning that you're going to get this effect as well. So he's going to get a plus, an extra plus. Wait, 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 so wait, meaning wait. that you're going to get this effect as well. Uh, yeah, he's he gonna get a a plus, an extra plus five, so that will be nine. Jesus. Plus whatever the core. Jesus. Has, so that will be thirteen, which will make him thirteen by himself. So we have thirteen. We have. What's four, the max? So that's seven. How much health do you have? Plus the dragonoid, which is another two damage, so that will be nineteen damage. Nineteen. So team attacks are very very good because you're gonna be doing so much damage. So in this case, this team attack will be doing 19 damage. So once you finish a team attack, you will be putting all your Bakugan into sphere forms and all of their Baku cores will be going back into the Hyder Matrix. And when all the damage is dealt, now you will be going into the end of turn phase. Okay. This is where you get to spend your energy that you have left, maybe to put some heroes down, maybe to Evo some of your Bakugan. And then once both of you are done is spending your remaining energy, then the turn will end. And the last thing you're going to do in the end phase is recharge your energies so you can use them on the next turn again. And then you get to draw a card again and the next turn will begin. Wait, so, so how do you, how do you Yeah, so thank you. Yeah, Bakugan, thank you. <laughs> you're going to have to do an extra damage after your opponent's deck is in the discard. So in this case, let's say Trox was attacking and this is your opponent's deck. So you will be doing two damage plus whatever's in the character card. So that's four damage. So your opponent has a little bit of cards and we have to do four damage. So let's say we do one, two, and he has no more cards and you okay, still have so. two more damage to do. So attacking means depleting their cards or just discarding their cards in the discard pile. Okay, gotcha. I was, I was like, what did what the damage mean? Like, what does it mean to take 19 damage? <laughs> That means you won because he cannot take any more damage. He's done. So that's how you play Bakugan okay, TCG. So basically, you want to mulligan the person's deck so you guys can understand. Make them discard but cards. If you still have any deck. questions at all, 
Make sure you leave it down in the comments. Okay. I will answer okay. all the questions that I can. I think I got it. And, I think uh, I got that's it. That's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Okay, cool. Hopefully, you guys that was learned. Nice. And make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more Bakugan content. All right, Fusion. All Thanks right, Fusion. for watching. And peace Thank out. you for the help. Thank you for the help. Earning your degree online is closer than you Stop that random ad. So you want to roll the Bakugan onto the, the Helix, basically the playing field. And you want to make sure you win that battle. When you win that battle, then you can attack the opponent depending on how much that, that little attack thing is. If you win with all three of your Bakugan, you can do a team attack. And then once that team attack happens, basically you, you reset. I guess you reset. You're a Baco gun, you just do it all over again. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Now, I don't know how helpful this information is gonna be when we watch the actual AMVs, but hey, at least we know how to play the game, I think. So yeah, we're gonna end the video right here. Next video is gonna be us watching the AMV because I wanna use this newfound knowledge to see if I can put it to use when I'm watching this craziness, uh, which I don't think is gonna work, but a man can dream. <laughs> a man can dream. So yeah, thank you for watching. My cup of extra tea is out of here. Um, see ya, everybody. And for some reason, I thought you actually just throw the buckle gun onto the field. I didn't know you, you roll it. And it's a good thing you watched the advanced one because I didn't know there was cars that you can use to like increase or decrease the stuff, stuff that happens. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was like an actual card game too. That's cool. That's cool.